No matter you are creating an RPG, a top down or a platformer, at a certain time you will find a need to create a progress bar. Progress bar not just limited to a health bar. You can use it in the loading screen or to show a timer and even use it in showing data. So it is important to know what kind of progress bar are available in Godot. Well mainly there are three type of progress bar, horizontal, vertical and circular. And if you combine two of them, you can create your own custom progress bar. And each progress bar can be divided further based on the direction of filling the bar. But mainly there are three of them. Now before we start making any progress bar, you will need some images first. And keep one thing in mind, how good your progress bar will look like, it will totally depend on the images you choose. So let's create a simple node 2D and add a texture progress node under it. Now click on the texture progress and open the texture. Here you will find three section, under, over and progress. The image you put in the under section will be the background of your progress bar. The image in the progress is actually what's moved and over is the frame of the bar. So let's add image to it and then we see how it's work. So if you come a little bit down, there's a minimum value and a maximum value. It's a range of our progress bar. Then step decide how our progress bar will move. So if the step is 1, then the progress bar will move like 1, 2, 3 and so on. And if the step is 5, then the progress bar will move like 5, 10, 15 and so on. The next most important thing is the value. It decide how much we have completed. Our range is between 0 and 100. So the value 50 means half the progress bar is filled. There are also some other option, but you will rarely use it. If you bring your cursor over it, then it will show a short description of it. You can read it and it's very simple. Now I'm going to make a horizontal bar which is the most commonly used progress bar. First I will take this rectangle image and add them in the texture property. Also if you're using a plain image and it doesn't have more than one color then you can use a white image and add the color inside Godot. It is best to use a white image in progress as you can change its color for different value. Once you added a white image, now click on tint and you can set the color of each of them. I will set black for the background, green for the progress and blue for over. Now if you see our progress bar is ready. You can add variation in it by changing the fill mode. Right now it is left to right. You can also set it to right to left. Then it is start filling from the right side. You can also set it to right and left bilinear. And now it is start spreading both side. You might have seen it somewhere as a timer bar. Vertical bar is just similar to horizontal bar. Instead of right and left, we have top and bottom. Again to use it, you need to have some vertical sprite and add them to the texture slot. Now in the fill mode, select top to bottom and as you change the value, you will start seeing that it's filled from top instead of right. It also has three different types similar to horizontal bar. One is top to bottom as you see and second is the bottom to top and now it will start filling the bar from bottom to top. At last we have bilinear top and bottom. This will start filling the bar from the center and goes on both sides. And that's all the variation we have for the vertical bar. Circular bar is also a very popular progress bar. To make a circular bar, you will need a ring type image and add it to the texture slot. Then you have to set the fill mode to clockwise. And now instead of left to right or top to bottom, it will now fill the bar in clockwise manner. Now in case of circular bar, there are few more options available to you. Right under the tint, there is a radial fill option. And when you click it, you will get three more options. The initial angle is the starting point of our progress bar. So if we put it to 90, then we will see it changes the starting point to 90 degrees. Now the fill degree changes the end position of the bar. For example, if we put 180 in the fill degree, then we cannot go beyond 180 degrees. And the center offset changes the point around which the bar is rotating. You will not use this option regularly, but this still came in handy in some situation, like if you are creating a some special design progress bar. Now similar to our vertical and horizontal bars, circular bar has also some filling variation. So first, in the fill mode, you can set it to anti-clockwise instead of clockwise. Then it will fill the bar in the opposite direction. You can also select the clockwise and counterclockwise both. This is similar to bilinear that we have used in horizontal and vertical bars. So now it's filling the bar from both the sides. Well, this is all you need in creating your circular progress bar. If you have ever played Prince of Persia Warrior Within, then you know that you can increase your health bar and your health bar look like this. Clearly it can't done by using only one kind of bar. So you have to combine two circular bar. Here I have also created a weird looking health bar. This is a combination of a circular and a linear health bar. To create this, you need two images. First add a progress bar node and set the circle image to it. Then set the fill mode in the clockwise direction. Since we want to start the progress bar at this point, so we set the initial angle to 90 degree and set the fill degree, which is the ending point of our bar, to 270. Now add another progress bar and add a rectangle image to it. Then place the rectangle in the correct position. 
Now since the half of the health is shown by a circle and half in the rectangle, so in the circular bar, we will set the minimum value to 0 and maximum to 50. And in the rectangle bar, we will set the minimum value to 50 and maximum to 100. Now our bar is ready. Now just to show you how it works, I will add a horizontal slider and we just need to change the value from code. So add a script to our main node and connect this value change signal to the script. Then inside this function, we will set the value of the circular bar to the value of slider. Then we also set the value of horizontal bar to the value of slider as well. And if you run it now, you will see it is working great. So now you are able to create any kind of progress bar. And the design of your progress bar will depend on the images you make. And that's all up to your creativity. I hope you found this video helpful. Like and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.